Welcome back to Out of the Rough. I've asked uh, my panel of experts to join me back on the show. I've got uh, Dan Smith with Single Mothers Outreach, J.D. Kennedy from Congressman McKeon's office, and my good friend Michael Crane, Smart Business Evolution. I want to talk about adversity because the two of you see individuals that have to deal with adversity all the time, but I know you consult and you talk about mm -hmm. companies uh, companies about adversity? Well, not only companies, but individuals, you know, we have a, a, a passion to help anybody, whether it's in business or in life. But, you know, here's one of the fundamental teachings that we give people. Whatever results that you're currently getting in life, if you don't like them, you need to go back and trace it back to your input. And here's what I mean, Fred. Uh, you know, whether it's the TV shows you're watching, whether it's the, the news that you're reviewing, the newspaper that you're looking through, you have to ask yourself, what's the message that that's giving me? And oftentimes you're going to find it's not a really good message. And therefore, what happens, it taints the way that you see the world. It's the lens in which you see the world through. Right. So if I take in negative information, I interpret the world negative. I then base my decisions and actions based on those interpretations, and that produces negative results. So if you're a person who's facing adversity, you need to make sure that you're going to a source of information and input that can put your life back on track. And that's why you have these two, because if you have difficulty, right. you need to go seek these two out. It's important. It's who you associate with, what you see, how you look at things, mm -hmm. what you listen to. Mm -hmm. uh, I know mm -hmm. with Single Mothers Outreach, you help all single parents, mm -hmm. but you've seen a lot of adversity in your time. Every single parent. Yes. And <laughs> what are some of the solutions? What are the, some of the th inspiring moments that you've had? One of the women that really inspires me, exactly what you were speaking of, Michael, she had a son who, she's a widow. She had a son, nine years of age, who was diagnosed with cancer. So she had to quit her job so that she could take him to his cancer treatments. And in the meantime, in that process, she, the debts and bills mm. and everything, the as you can imagine, were just piling up. So she came to, she went to both Michael Hoffman Foundation and Single Mothers Outreach, and we both helped her um, with today. But we had a workshop uh, during the summer, it was about two years, uh, going on three years ago, um, called Should I Go Back to School? And we invited Debbie Rio, uh, the Dean of Enrollment from College of the Canyons to come and speak to the issue of should I should I go back to school and uh, Christiane went to that workshop and as a result of the information that she got there enrolled in college that next uh, fall mm -hmm. after her son was cleared of his cancer so wow, he's now he's recovered that's great. and so she thought I need to get on a path to where I can I can do something with my life and and earn a sustainable wage and so she will be graduating this summer I'm excited with her bachelor's degree in psychology and that she's going on to get a master's in psychology so that she can become a marriage and family therapist and it's about seeking out the resources mm -hmm. it's about being around people that maybe have had similar experiences that can look at things maybe a little more objectively because when you're going through an emotional challenging time Maybe you need somebody to say, okay, maybe this is the right path, um, both financially, emotionally, with resources. Exactly. And I'm sure that, uh, J.D., you see a lot uh, as, a, as a veteran yourself and, uh, you know, us being currently in a war, but uh, some inspiring thoughts that you've had recently with uh, veterans and ven veterans benefits, uh, that, that market, that area. Um, well, you know, uh, there's almost a stigma sometimes uh, with veterans that uh, veterans are not employable. Uh, they can't be, if they're not mentally stable, then uh, an employer doesn't want to uh, have them on, on their staff. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I'd argue against that. I'd, I'd say that uh, a veteran, even if he does have PTSD, would be more of an asset for that employer. He's going to be able to work through any issues he's got, and he's going to be a great resource for you uh, in your crew. Um, and uh, veterans got to overcome that stigma by by having a strong resume. They got to learn how to write that resume so that uh, you know a civilian employer understands what uh, tools they bring to the table, and uh, they've they've got to be a strong interviewer. A lot of, a lot of guys show up for their interview, they just don't know what they're doing. Most time in the military, when you're one on one, you're in trouble. You're getting yelled at. <laughs> yeah. You're standing at attention. Sure. When you're in an interview as a civilian, a little bit different. You want to. Uh, show that you're personable. You want to be able to sit down, shake, shake your uh, future employer's hand, look them in the eye, and tell them what you're going to do for them. Mm -hmm. I almost want to say for those that need some inspiration, they're down for whatever reason financially, 
they're down, is don't wait for tragedy to strike or challenging time to strike to be successful or to change your paradigm. Mm -hmm. Maybe volunteer at the Single Mothers Outreach or Michael Hofflin or for the veterans because then you can look at things and see that things aren't so bad for yourself. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's that inspiration that helps get you over over the top. Would you, would you not agree? Oh, absolutely. You know, I know this is that uh, when my life feels like it's flat and when I start to mingle in the meaningless of life and over-exaggerate uh, the trials I face, you know, I try to go engage in uh, an association like what you two are involved in and all of a sudden my paradigm shift and, and gets back on track. So you're absolutely right. Yeah, if you ever want to shift your thought process, uh, I know JD's been very involved in putting together the, um, the honoring of, of fallen soldiers through the Santa Cruz Valley. And I know that you can go to SCV website, it's there, and then we filmed Ian, Gile, or Ian uh, Gielig's funeral. And you watch that a few times and you realize the ultimate sacrifice and your problems aren't, aren't as challenging, are they? Not at all. Yeah, and so you've seen it all being in the military. Um, so certainly some inspiring thoughts. Uh, Single Mothers Outreach, people want to get involved, people want to volunteer, give her their mm -hmm. time, donate some of the stuff in their closets <laughs> so single mothers can... Um, your website? Singlemothersoutreach.org. Perfect. And we thank you for all the inspiration you give because that's one of the things you, you do there. And J.D., Congressman, tell the Congressman hello. We're trying to do the good work here in Santa Clarita Valley to reach out to the veterans. But the veterans have questions, they can reach you or reach somebody in the office at... 661-254-2111, uh, or you can send us an email at veteransca25 at mail.house.gov. Perfect, perfect. And those seeking advice, yeah. Michael Crane. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you can go to Michael, contact me directly, michael at smartbusinessevolution.com. You can go to our website under the same name, smartbusinessevolution.com, or call us toll free, 877-398-7547. Thank you very much for coming on. Thanks for the inspiring thoughts, and uh, thank you for all you do in the community. Mm -hmm. I hope you enjoyed this edition of Out of the Rough. I'm Fred Arnold. If you'd like to view this show online, go to scvtv.com or fredarnold.com. If you have any questions, go ahead and email me at fred at fredarnold.com. Until next time, make it a healthy and prosperous day, and I hope this show helps get you and your business out of the rough.